Hello everybody! Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a big treat. We were at the beer store the other day. Uh, hey, Saturday. I think this, uh, she picked it up yesterday. She called me and said, new beer here. Uh, she actually bought this at Kroger's. Uh, uh, it's a dogfish head beer. And I said, what is it? She told me what it was. I said, yeah, go ahead and pick up a six pack of it and see what, what we end up with on this. This is Dogfish Head's Flesh and Blood IPA. India Pale Ale, and it's in the can, and it uh, says a well-hopped IPA brewed with orange peel, lemon flesh, and blood orange juice. Sounds pretty tasty. And date on this one says canned on 031517. Guys, this is a March 15th, uh, and today is the 25th. It's 10 days old. You bought it yesterday. It was nine days old. Blew me away. I think this is the freshest beer I've ever bought at the Kroger store. Nine days old, coming from Dogfish. It, it came from them, went to the distribution, and made it to the Kroger store in nine days. That blows me away. It blows me away. The distribution in this state, and especially in this area, is horrible. So, why can they get this beer and give it into the store in nine days from canned on date? But yet the, the Bell's Two Hearted Ale is three, four, five, six months old before it shows up. And they still have some down there that was canned in uh, in October. Or bottled in October. They still have Two Hearted Ale that was bottled in October on the store shelf down here. Six months old. Still sitting there. And as far as I'm concerned, they can sit there until the damn cows come home. So I just don't understand the distribution sometimes. Maybe a... Uh, Maybe Dogfish, uh, uh, Sam is uh, is paying these boys to get their sh get his shit out a little a little quicker. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there, guys. So I just don't understand why it takes so long to get a, a beer from the distributor to the store, or even from the can the, the brewery to the distributor and then to the store. So unbelievable. But I seen this. Well, she seen it and then said, oh, "It's got a uh, uh, it's nine days old." I said, "Pick it up." Pick it up. I am blow me away. Couldn't believe it. So let's see what this uh, ends up being, guys. Uh, uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to be a two thumbs up, a beer, or not. Uh, Dogfish Head did some pretty good stuff. I've been to the brewery. I took the tour. Uh, Sam wasn't there the day that I was there. and I was in the midst of doing some expansion. This was a couple years ago. And... Uh, and I think they've got all that done now, and they send their beers out to a lot of different states. So, uh, and it has a canned on date on it. Yay! And the picture I've got here is a bottle, so I know they've done this before. But now they're canning this particular version of their beer. So, it says here, commercial description, an honest-to-goodness IPA brewed with bevy of real citrus, including orange peel, lemon flesh, and blood orange juice. Same thing it says on the back of the can. All right, uh... 7.5% ABV IBUs, it says here on uh, Rate Beer, is 45. Very low IBUs for an IPA. So maybe this might be a good transitional one to go from a uh, pale ale into an IPA that doesn't have 90 IBUs. It's going to be too bitter for your palate. So maybe a good transitional IPA. So let's see what we got here, guys. Let me get it popped open. I'll tell you the cuisine, the curd and the tie, the cheese of the pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, uh, blue, cheddar. Your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, and Limburger, 
and the meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, and I'll add grilled meat to that because everything that comes off the grill goes good with a nice IPA, in my humble opinion. Last for the pint, back in I'm time to mug side side down. I'm using my favorite tulip glass, the solid beer glass. And uh, not recommended for extended selling. Drink them fresh. Ten days old. Ten days old. Unbelievable. And I bought it and we bought it here. Nobody sent it to me. It makes me happy. It makes me real happy. About a finger of head on that pour. It is a rich amber color. A little darker than a typical IPA. It looks very good in the glass. Let's get a nose to it. Ah, wonderful aroma. Very citrusy. Hence of pine and grapefruit and orange and lemon. And when I read the can, I said, uh, blood orange juice. Maybe it's going to be uh, a juice bomb. I don't know. And it's definitely not a juice bomb. I, it's a filter beer, guys. I can see right through it. Doesn't look like orange juice or anything like that. Looks good. Smells good. Nice hop aroma. Ten days old. I mean, if it's going to have a hop aroma, you're going to get it at ten days old. It smells wonderful. Let's dive in. I'm, I'm drooling on myself. Cheers, everybody. Citrusy. I'm getting the blood orange juice in there. Hence of some lemon. It's not super hoppy on the taste. It's more hoppy on the nose than it is the taste. And it's 7.5% alcohol is super well hidden, very well made. Sam and the guys up there do some really tasty beers. I, I like a lot of their stuff. I drank a lot of it earlier in my beer reviewing days. I don't drink so much of it anymore. Uh, my, my intention is, you know, my go-to beers, y'all know my go-to beers usually are. Y'all see what's in the refrigerator. Uh, the Bells, when I can get fresh. And, and I love the, the Victory Golden Monkey. Uh, uh, the Scopin uh, Victory at Sea. That's an excellent beer for six-pack for a 10 percenter, around 10 bucks. Awesome beer. I believe I like it more than I do the Sculpin, to be honest about it. Uh, you, know, you know, the Loose Cannon, uh, I, I do like that. Uh, I like a lot of hoppy stuff, and I like the Stouts, and the Imperial Stouts, and the Barrel Aged Stouts. Uh, that are, those are my favorites. Uh, something with a lot of taste. That's what that's what I'm into right now. Uh, with 2,500 plus beer reviews, uh, I've drank a lot of meh beers. And I like stuff that stands out a little bit more. And that's why I love these juice bombs that's coming out and uh, the New England style beers. Uh, they blow me away. Uh, I'd like to try to brew some of that stuff. But anyway, uh, not, not so much super hoppiness on the taste, but very hoppy on the nose. Very easy drinking. And if I only have 45 IBUs, maybe a good one to get into an IPA. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have 65, 75, 90 or, or more IBUs for a single IPA. Something that's not going to have a huge bitterness and blow your palate out of your mouth if you've never had an IPA before or don't like that bitterness that most IPAs have. This is a little lower in that, in that category. So, a 7.5% it'll get you there a little quicker than a 5% is going to do it. So, very tasty. Let's let it warm up. Let me step on it for a while. Let her taste it and then we'll come back and see where this one ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm sitting on about 30 minutes or so. Tasty beer, but not quite to the A category as far as I'm concerned. I do appreciate them putting a canned on date on it instead of an enjoy by that's by used by whatever by date. Uh, uh, now that they're actually doing some canning, that's a good thing. Uh, and the pictures that they've got on rate beer and, and other places shows the bottle, so I know they've done it before. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. There are a lot better IPAs out there, especially the Juice Bombs is coming, the New England style that's coming out now, or that they've been doing for a while now, and a lot of breweries are picking up on that and, 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 and doing some of that, like Trillium and, and Treehouse and some of the others that are doing these big, super up-in-your-face 
super hoppy juice bombs. It looks like orange juice or grapefruit juice in the glass, guys. And I was thinking this may be that when I read the, the box and the can says blood orange juice. So uh, I can get the I can get the orange, uh, the blood oranges in there, and some lemon. Uh, nice, not over the top hop profile, more like a East Coast style beer, guys. So uh, a little disappointed in that, but. Uh, 7.5% alcohol is very well hidden, well made beer. And for the IBUs being 45, maybe a nice transitional beer to get you into an IPA with this much alcohol. Uh, but, like I said, didn't blow my hair back or my socks off or anything, so final choke. And being as fresh as it is, 10 days old, I know I'm drinking what they wanted what it, it tastes like coming off the line, guys. So, to me, B plus, guys. That's where I'm going to put it. 87 in the scale. That's where I would put this beer. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 86. So we're pretty close on those numbers there. I would rate beer, they say 87. Uh, we're still close. And final check-in, we're running over to Untapped. They have it at 3.87, which I consider their B plus range also. So it's B plus is all the way around, guys. That's what we think of it. Uh, and I'm right in line with what everybody at Untapped and, and uh, Beer Advocate is saying. So uh, it's unanimous. It's a, it's a B plus beer, basically. So if you've had this one from Dogfish Head, their Flesh and Blood IPA, let me know what you think. One back tomorrow. Let's fix up my that bridge. See everybody then.